Hi friends, Lorraine here and my channel is Lowe's Life and Lessons. I am so excited about doing this video. I've been working on it pretty hard for the last several days because it's all about Korean skincare. What is so great about it? You hear about it. I've been hearing about it for years. I've heard about it from various content creators. I've seen the products on many different websites. I've just read wonderful reviews about it and often the price is really affordable. So I thought I would do a little bit of a deep dive, maybe not a deep dive, but a little bit of a dive for myself and research some of these products. First of all, I want to bring your attention though to Dr. Dre. Dr. Dre is on YouTube. She's been on YouTube for a long time. She's a board certified dermatologist and I am a fan. There is nothing she doesn't know about skincare. And she has reviewed and talked about Korean skincare products very favorably. So if she likes them, so do I. I have linked a couple of her videos in the description box for you if you want to explore those for yourself. In this video, I'm going to do certain things. I'm going to start by talking about the ways in which Korean skincare is different from skincare in other countries. Certainly quite different from the skincare we're used to in North America. Then I'm going to describe just a few of the natural ingredients that are used in Korean skincare. There are many, many natural ingredients that we don't necessarily include in our skincare. I certainly can't talk about all of those ingredients, but I will describe briefly some of those ingredients. Then I will talk about two unique and newish features about Korean skincare. Next, I will share with you a brief overview of my own personal AM and PM skincare. I will tell you about a few of the Korean skincare products that I've used and anything I talk about specifically, I will list and link down below in the description box for you. I haven't used many Korean skincare products, so I can't say that this is a personal review, but I have tried a few and I will share those with you. Then I will talk about a few of the very popular Korean brands. Some of them have been tested on animals, some have not. Some are vegan, some are not. So we'll just have an overview of some of those popular brands. And finally, I will leave some links for you so that you can explore more information about Korean skincare products. So let's begin and let's start with what makes Korean skincare so different. First of all, skincare in South Korea is a matter of self-care. It's not a luxury. And I think sometimes we look at skincare as a luxury, as something that, you know, really we don't really need, but it's kind of a nice to have. But in Korea, they don't look at it that way. They begin educating their children very young about the importance of moisturizing the skin, cleansing the skin properly, and wearing sunscreen every single day. They focus on prevention and they know that skin care is more important than makeup because makeup goes on so much better on clear, healthy skin. Korean skin care generally uses gentler formulas. In America, we tend to use more chemicals and there's a greater risk of irritation to the skin when we use chemicals. Their products contain little or no water so that their products have lots of natural active ingredients. There's a wide range of affordable products because after all, everybody is using skincare. So there is something for everybody. There's something for every type of skin and every issue that could possibly arise with the skin. Hyaluronic acid and niacinamide are pretty much basic to all skincare products in Korea, but some people are sensitive to those two ingredients. So there are products available without hyaluronic acid and niacinamide. Now I'm going to talk about six of the natural ingredients that are found often in Korean skincare. And I will be looking at my notes here because I can't possibly remember all these things. The first one is snail mucus. You find that often in Korean skincare. It heals pigmentation, diminishes acne scars, and deeply moisturizes the skin. It's a wonderful ingredient, it feels lovely, and it just sinks right into the skin. The next one is mugwort which is a plant related to ragweed, and it contains a compound called artemisinin. Artemisinin. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. This compound has been shown to have antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties. Mugwort is also rich in antioxidants. It soothes irritated skin and reduces inflammation, making it ideal for acne-prone, 
and sensitive skin and people with rosacea. It also promotes healing by stimulating the production of new skin cells. The next ingredient is fermented rice water. This is rich in antioxidants, minerals, B vitamins, and traces of pitera, which is a byproduct of the fermentation process and is known to promote cell regeneration. The next, licorice root, which soothes irritated skin, beneficial for those struggling with atopic dermatitis or even general skin conditions such as eczema and psoriasis. The next one is green tea extract. Green tea has antibacterial properties, so it fights acne by fighting the bacteria that cause acne. It also reduces irritation, redness, and swelling. The next, bamboo extract. Bamboo is antimicrobial, anti-inflammatory, and acts as an antibiotic. It's a powerhouse for regeneration and new cell growth in the skin. Korean women are famous for their 10-step routine of skincare, morning and evening, using 10 products. I'm sure that they're able to cocktail some of these products and do it very quickly and efficiently. But for me, I don't think there's any way that I would be using 10 products for my skincare. My routine is basically five steps. Cleansing, the application of an essence. In the morning, vitamin C. At night, retinol. In the morning, sunscreen. And in the AM and PM, eye cream and a moisturizer. That's about all. Now, I'm not saying I'll never change that as I learn more about these wonderful Korean skincare products. So we'll have to see. But for now, mine is basically five steps. Now, in addition to that, twice a week, I do use a face mask. I use a sheet mask and I also use uh, exfoliating acid pads to exfoliate my skin. Exfoliation is very important. I do that twice a week. There are two rather unique features about Korean skincare. Now, having said that, the first one is Bifida Ferment Lysate. This is a probiotic ingredient that has been used in Estee Lauder's Advanced Night Repair Serum. This serum, I believe, has been around for a long time. This ingredient protects against UV-induced damage in the skin and helps with DNA repair. It hydrates the skin, it strengthens the skin's immune system, it soothes inflammation, nourishes dry skin, and it can be used with both vitamin C and with retinol. The next special feature in Korean skincare is a fermentation process. This fermentation process is pretty complicated. <laughs> I was reading about it and I just would not want to be boring you with all the details about this but there is lots of information if you want to know what that process is. But the benefits to the skin are numerous. This process provides a natural moisturizer for the skin. It revitalizes and firms the skin. It's an antioxidant that can reduce free radicals and protect the skin from UV damage. It helps lighten brown spots and even out the skin tone. It encourages the skin's production of collagen and increases the skin cells vitality. I have used a few Korean skincare products. You can bet that I will use more in the future, but I already have some skincare products in my linen closet that I will have to use up first before I add the Korean skincare products to my routine. But you can bet that I will in the future. One that I have used is the Benton Fermentation Eye Cream. I really enjoyed this eye cream. It was very affordable. It was just very light. It melted right into the skin around my eyes and I really enjoyed that. One product that I'm using right now is the Isntree Bifida Korean Face Collagen Ampoule. Now this has triple peptides hydrolyzed collagens and naturally derived ingredients. It helps achieve a firmer and more youthful complexion. Now you can see that I have used quite a bit of this. I've been using it for quite a while and it's very watery. I simply cocktail this with my vitamin C in the morning and with my retinol serum at night and I have to say I quite like it. Now I'm not sure if I see any change or improvement in my skin. My skin seems to be always pretty much the same, but as long as I can maintain it, I'm happy. And this is a lovely product.
I will read off some of the things that this wonderful serum will do for your skin. It's dermatologically proven to improve fine lines within a few weeks of use. The formula is formulated with natural marine bifida extracts, 88%. Collagen that supports to repair, protect, and moisturize the skin and improve overall skin health. And it helps to reduce and reverse fine lines and dark spots. I can't honestly say that I have seen that on my skin. I do have a few dark spots and they seem to be the same. But again, with continued use, I might see a change in that. And this serum also hydrates and protects. The moisturizing bifida extract, peptides and vitamins help strengthen the skin barrier and makes the skin more elastic. It also contains zucchini extract, which greatly hydrates the bottom layer of the skin. So you can see this is chock full of really good ingredients. And of course, I've linked this down below for you. Another product that I have tried is the Benton Green Tea Toner. I got a small bottle of that in an Ipsy bag and I did like it. I can't say I noticed anything really spectacular about it, but again, it was a small amount and I didn't use it for very long, but it was very nice. It was very pleasant. Another product that I did try was the Cosrx Low pH Cleansing Gel. Now, this has wonderful reviews and it was a very nice gel. It was light and cool on the skin and I used it as the first of my double cleanse. So I did like the way the gel performed, but it has a bit of a light fragrance, which I just did not care for. I just wasn't a fan of that fragrance. Now, there was nothing horrible about it. It was just my own taste. So you might not be bothered by that fragrance. So that is another one that I did try, but I won't try again just because of the fragrance. Another product that I've been trying is the Benton Snail Bee High Content Beauty Mask. Now you can see that Benton is a really good brand of Korean skincare. They have a number of really nice products. This is a box of 10 sheet masks and I've been using these and they are just lovely. I use them about twice a week and I leave the mask on for at least half an hour and it leaves my skin smooth and soft and just like glass. Other masks that I've tried and these are also Korean brands and I've tried these as well and these are not that expensive. I use these again twice a week. Another popular Korean skincare brand is Pyun Kang Yul and I tried their deep cleansing balm. Now again I found that balm just a little bit crumbly like I didn't find it as smooth as other balms that I've tried. But in terms of it, you know, melting into the skin and removing makeup, it functioned very well, but it was not my favorite cleansing balm. But that is a very good brand, Pyun Kang Yul. They have many different wonderful products. Other popular Korean brands are Misha, Isentree, Seoul Suticals, Radiant Seoul Innisfree. And you can buy these, some of them you can find them on iHerb, certainly on Amazon. And Stylevana, of course, is devoted uh, especially to Korean skincare products. So there you have my brief overview of the very little that I know about Korean skincare. There is so much to learn about Korean skincare. And of course, many of the ingredients have been used in skincare for thousands of years and passed on from generation to generation. I really like the concept of using the natural ingredients. Not all, but many of the brands are not tested on animals and are vegan. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I really love skincare. I find it's well worth the effort, well worth the expense, and well worth the time. You will see results. It will take weeks, if not months, to see results, but you will see them. You have to be committed and really stick to your routine, morning and evening. And of course, the most important thing is to wear sunscreen. There are many content creators on YouTube who talk about Korean skincare, many who are real experts in the various sunscreens. There are so many sunscreens and they are beautiful. I haven't tried one yet, but I will. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope that you're as excited as I am to explore this whole new world of skincare. Thank you for joining me. I love you all so much. Take care and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye for now.